saw one long beard strutting chasing some tail around on the way here in the field but before we get into may 1st opening day of new york turkey hunt uh i just wanted to go over really quick my setup my go-to setup it's kind of a lot but this is what i'm bringing in the woods with me whether i'm self-filming or filming somebody else run and gunning sometimes i lighten my load but for the most part this is what i'm bringing in the turkey woods with me i got my striker evolution xop pack this thing is awesome it's extremely sturdy which is the most important because when you put a lot of stuff in it like i do heavy stuff it holds up perfect it's small enough to not be a burden it's big enough to carry everything i need to carry and i carry a lot of stuff so it's an unreal pack it's got all the compartments i need i got external batteries this thing is sweet i got this on amazon built-in iphone charger built-in uh USB-C for the GoPros right in there. You don't have to bring cords or anything. It's absolutely perfect. I got some extra GoPro batteries. A7 if I bring it, extra batteries. Sometimes I don't. Always on my chest with a harness. I got my Burris Optics uh, 8x42. They're small enough to, like I said, they not they don't burden you throughout the hunt. You can get bigger ones, but I like I like these. They're just not not too big and bulky. First camera setup is GoPro. And this is the uh, ground stake from 4th Arrow. These things are amazing because you can put them in absolutely anywhere. Stick them in the ground, this thing extends. You can put it up wherever you're at, it just fits. It's so versatile, I use that every time I'm in the woods. Um, and then I go with the tripod. Um, lightweight tripod, I honestly don't even know the brand, got it off Amazon. It's go with as light of a tripod as you can, but it's gotta be sturdy enough to hold the Rex arm in a heavyweight camera but this one does fine especially when you spread the legs out so you get a little lower profile when you're sitting on the ground um i just got a fluid head with a fair zoom remote and a xa40 from canon 4k camera um it's kind of a lot you can go smaller but good footage you know it's well worth it in my eyes so this setup allows me the, the rex arm is key being able to swing that arm around just a little bit 18 or so inches can make all the difference in getting the footage. You don't have to move that tripod around if you know these birds see everything. So you gotta be you gotta be sneaky. I bring a little uh three-quarter blind with me. That is awesome to get out in front of you. If you hear a bird, you can get it down on the ground and be able to move behind it to set up the rest of your camera gear. Savior. Got the lynch call, first call I ever killed a turkey with. Bought it on Cabela's $49.99, and then the bourbon barrel. Sweet, sweet slate call. That's my go-to setup to go into the turkey woods with. Now we're gonna go to the May 1st opening day hunt. We got the cousins, the double, David DeMarco's in. And Dave and I decided to set up on a food plot in the back here. And we were just gonna let the birds come to us because I knew that's what they like to do mid-morning. So we decided to be less aggressive. Things started off a little bit slow, but an hour after sunrise, the gobbles started getting louder. Same spot?
Dude, I have too much brush. He's got a gun on that. Are you serious? Dude, I got too much brush right there. them up or the decoys. I guess he was already with his hens or what. The hens were coming. Dude, there's just too many prickers in the way right here. I would have been blasting through. I was almost gonna say if you could if you could sneak a shot out to it because I'm like I can't. He was 10 more yards. I thought he was coming. <coughs> Well, for some reason, I don't know if he love, they love the decoy spread. Those hens came running in this morning. They came running into the decoys, and then we had two geese at the back of the pond. When they saw the turkeys run into the decoy, they started going crazy. <laughs> and then the turkeys got 20 yards from the decoys and just... I don't know what happened, but they changed their demeanor. Like, I mean, he literally needed, I think, five yards before one of us would have got a shot. All right, we're going to wrap up and change plans. we got to change this decoy spread anyway, because for some reason they didn't like it. Although I think a lot of the reason, too, is that it was just a lone gobbler with two hens. You get a lone gobbler, sometimes they just, well, a lone gobbler with hens. He's got no reason to come beat up a decoy, so he didn't. That's my theory and I'm sticking to it. We're gonna go make an adjustment. Maybe get a pancake, who knows.